in this video I'm going to show you that I'm going to create a mirror bevel for this knife and so this knife don't have much of a bevel so I'm going to go from 1000 grit water stone and then move to white compound and then after that uh, green compound which is aluminum I mean chrome oxide so anyway here we go and I'm going to create some sort of bevel small one using 1000 grit water stone I suppose you a lot more water but it's kind of messy for making uh, using the water stone and uh, the video and out here and the uh, steel of this knife is the uh, 52100 which is a bull bearing steel so it's not a super high alloy or anything else it has some chromium um, carbine so it can be easily a braid with uh, common compound and uh, water stone or sandpaper From the sound, I know that right now there is the uh, this apex, and uh, it probably there are little bars going on. Yes, it is. Well, the bevel is not super clean, but yeah, uh, you can probably see some. Hopefully, it's so good with the video. I just got to quickly debug it. More convenient if I have a sink and I get the faucet and run the water onto the stone. But seeing I don't have it, and I just got to scrape the wood. The knife on the wood so that to fold the bird over and uh, I'm going to uh, abrade it against the uh, water stone. Uh, you may it's leading, and that's pretty much my style. Other people like to use low you know, gentle or low pressure. It's trailing which is this way, I, I go at leading this way. Whichever work will be, I mean, as long as it works, I mean, as long as you get your edge sharp and clean at 1000 grit and with the stone here, and it's probably not the cleanest edge, but it should slice paper fairly well. Well, the video is about showing you make uh, a nice mirror edge. So, not about sharpening or creating the bevel. So, that I create some sort of tiny little bevel. And this video I was using a different technique than many other videos or people make mirror. Yes, the, uh, the concept is I'm going to create groove on this piece of pine. Yeah, one, one there. I'm going to use three groove for this. I can use 
progressing to be a little bit more, uh, progressing, um, tighter grid progressing, but however, hopefully I don't try to make too long of a video. Okay, so I pretty much cut using the bevel of this knife I nearly created, cut three groove. Let me remove this. Out of the way. And first up, it's a white compound. It's just not one giant block of this white compound. And according to the seller, this thing is about 12 micron in size. A lot of people might dispute it. The bigger, larger, or coarser, I don't know exact. So when I got the tree grew, and I break a little chunk of the, out of that big white compound. I'm going to load it up into this groove. Okay, not very good job loading it, but uh, it didn't there. I can, I think the first step is the one that requires most work from when you first have an edge of the stone. So I'm just going to leave it there. I don't want to contaminate the next groove, which is a finer. Um, well, actually, I only need two grooves. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I get pretty much, and then I just put the uh, edge into uh, the groove and saw. You do a saw in motion. If not, that's uh, it. And you keep doing that, you can see it black right there. Well, that means the... Uh, I got to get some more because I want to speed up the process. So you're going to saw. I can do it one hand, but of course I don't think I can... I have to be careful if I do one. One arm here and with my eyes closed. But I think if you get the sense for it, it that's all you do and it is sawing back and forth. And uh, it can look, it can be boring looking at it. But I mainly, that's all I'm doing. And when I press it out with a little bit more, the uh, apex will be protected. Because I mean, when you press it deep enough, you bottom out and you go to the nothing but wood. You don't have much compound at the very bottom because all the compound being smeared to the side of the wood, the, of the groove. And one of the uh, knife nut potion that, uh, well, the, or, a sharpener, one of, I named this thing, uh, this technique, uh, a groove sharpener. But for me, it, it is sharpener, and mainly I, I go for the mirror bevel. Well, let me show some more to so make sure that I remove all the one uh, K scratch scratches from the water stone. Okay, I let's say let's call it good enough, and let's take a look. I know it's really hard to look uh, using the uh, I mean out the camera, but you hopefully you can see it's the shining aspect of it. And of course, because the groove is have fixed depth, and when you back and forth. Well, you rub it pretty much a nice bevel, whatever the depth, when you're cutting, when you're notching it. And here it is. And that after the white compound. And I got some, uh, let me clean the edge a little bit more so I don't contaminate too much when I move to the finer, another much finer abrasive. In this case, chromium oxide. And I got some chromium oxide I yet got to put onto this little piece. And I just go pretty much, uh, you know, 
a few dab along my edge here and you can see there it is and uh, okay that's plenty and I'm going to use the next notch okay where it is okay and this knot I think is a little shallow but it's okay I did go to saw right now I'm, I, I guess I do it pretty rapidly I'm not really concerned too much about the age packs I guess I can always refine the age packs when you go finer if you have all the compound you go down to this I got from 12 micron all the way to point I mean point 0.1 micron so you can go through that type of progression and you can really make the uh, age packs as uh, sharp, sharp it can probably slice newsprint but but I don't think it's push cut that well but right now I did going to go to the chromium oxide and uh, to create a nice looking mirror bevel and you can see there are a lot of more black now it was green originally but now it's mostly black and let's take a look at the, the uh, bevel a small bevel but because it's not really thin even though I make a probably about 20 or something probably some 30 degrees inclusive angle but even that you will hopefully you can see something and let me try to send up and maybe I can see something have to be a very tiny bevel though see when you see the scratch pattern and then next thing you know it is the smooth one and it's pretty shiny but will it still cut I don't know we'll try I think it's cut. Thank you for watching. Well, okay. Yeah. We can always cut deeper groove and have a bigger bevel if your bevel is is uh, is, is uh, bigger. Thanks again. Bye.